Hi, this is Justin. I'm here for Color Circuit today, sitting in as a guest. Today I have a wonderful team and we're going to be playing Fiasco, the Saturday Night 78 playset, uh, developed by Will Hindmarch, Will Wheaton, and Jason Morningstar in 2012. So let me go ahead and introduce our guests real quick. We have... Uh, Tito Dameron. Perfect. And? Kevin Bransford. Welcome. And? Jason Weiler. Awesome. So, uh, only Tito and I have played this game, so it's going to be a little hinky at the beginning. And also, we're under a time constraint today, so we're going to be limiting our scenes. I'm just going to set a timer for our scenes uh, so that we wrap up quicker. Okay. Uh, All right. Because we only have, I think, about an hour and a half. Uh, to get like, is done. it going to be a hard out, like, oh, you didn't finish that sentence, too bad, we're moving on? Or can we, like, wrap up the thought? I say we'll yes. wrap up the thought. Oh, good. You're saying yes to... Yes to yeah. uh, Just with Tito. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Make I just want to clarify these things. <laughs> awesome. Um, so, just to set the scene, Saturday Night 78 is a playset set in New York City in the year 1978. Uh, so, disco is in its heyday. Uh, Star Wars was released last year. Uh, last night, or sorry, last year, the city of New York was rocked by the Sam, uh, Son of Sam killings. Mm. Uh, last night? Last uh, year. Okay. With Throughout Son of Sam killings. Um, uh, people are wearing bell bottom jeans, platform Scorsese. shoes. Yeah. yeah. Um, afros are very popular. Everyone's getting perms. Yep. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll go around. Everyone go ahead and read what your need is and then which relationships you have with the characters around you. Uh, starting with me? Yeah. 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 Sure. Um, my need is to get high, uh, furthering on something true and real for a change. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And you guys share a relationship, you and Kevin? Yeah. Uh, our relationship is romantical. <laughs> it's a one night stand that the gonorrhea won't let you forget. Perfect. Uh, he did give it to me, <laughs> just to be clear. Uh, my need is just to get high. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cut and dry. Yep. And uh, you guys share a relationship? We share a relationship. It's a rivalry. Uh, we, don't, we don't like each other. Um, and uh, my need is to get free of this goddamn neighborhood that's holding me back. Perfect. And we have a crime relationship. One of us is a blackmailer, mm -hmm. and the other is the victim of said blackmail. Uh, right. My need is to get respect, and then me and Tito share a relationship based on secrets. One of us was in a film, and the other one has said film. Mm. The only other object in play is a bloody disco ball, which our story Excellent. will revolve around in some way. All right. Perfect. Um, so we're all going to go around. We're going to do two scenes each for Act 1. And uh, I think just because you know, and I have played before, maybe we can start. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, I'm, trying, I'm trying to remember all the way back to this. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. So I'll just go. Well, we're going to go ahead and set up um, a scene where I have invited you to my office. Uh, my character's name is Sleazy Steve Spielberg. Okay. And Sleazy Steve is a director of adult films. All right. Okay. Uh, I've invited you to my office so we can discuss the film that we made together. Okay. All right. Now, do, do, I, do I say, like, what my character is? Yeah, go yeah, for or, it. Or just, like, we discovered it. <laughs> um, my... Well, I guess I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a porn actor. Uh... <laughs> And uh, my name is uh, Esteban Stevens. Esteban Stevens. Esteban Stevens, which translates to Stephen Stevens. <laughs> and uh, perfect. I like to get high. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Uh, all right. Uh, Sleazy Steve is behind a desk. Um, maybe he's got a line of cocaine uh, on a mirror. Couple mm -hmm. lines, maybe. Uh, it's hot. It's uh, summer in New York City. Uh, we have a, a fan rattling um, with some of those okay. streamers on it. You mm -hmm. know, I don't know why people do that, but just so you see, it's moving. Just to like create to so make nice sure the fan art. works. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a dingy office, not mm -hmm. very clean. And uh, sleazy Steve, well, uh, come on in, come on in, Esteban, right. mi amigo. Okay. Uh, 
Ah, yes, Esteban. How are you doing, buddy? Oh, I'm I'm doing I'm doing okay. Uh, it's been a it's been a long day. I had uh I had some uh shredded wheat for breakfast. It was pretty yeah, good. yeah, shredded yeah. wheat. Just the uh, breakfast of champions, am I right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, uh, I uh ran out of some weed today. Weed? Have you, you had any? Like, I see the cocaine on the table, but what do you think I am? Some kind of Puerto Rican? I, <laughs> weed. I mean. I just, I just figured, you know, like you're, you're high up. You, you own your own business. You got money. You can, you can help me out. That's right. That's right. I do. I'm very popular. Uh, you know, Spielberg films. We don't get a lot of respect around here. Ever since my cousin went off and made that stupid Jaws movie, everyone pays so much attention to him. It's like, uh, it's like my business ain't got no respect. You know. That's true. Well, it, it, it is. I just want to point out a fact. Uh, uh. It, it, it is a porn. It is a porn uh, it's a, it's studio. A, it's, I like to think that I'm making real art, you know? I take, I take young upstarts like yourself. I find, I find a niche for you. And then I, uh, I make, some, make some movies. Yeah, yeah thank you. I, I, I appreciate it. So uh, what, 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 what did you want to see me for? Oh, I came to see you because I, I realized as I was going through the contract negotiations, we made this film. It's a really great film. Uh, but I was just kind of looking at the legal loopholes, and you didn't really sign your consents yet. Uh, so, sorry, <laughs> sorry. I just I, I I got I got to the set. I was so excited to just like mm -hmm. get down to the the fucking right. That I just I I went past the paperwork. Well, I got I got all the paperwork here, so I'm gonna hand this to you. Uh, just a couple X's. And a couple okay. signatures, right. and you'll notice there's a non-disclosure agreement in there. Scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch. Um, well, I just want to make sure you know me and you are on the same page regarding the whole disco ball incident. Y yeah, ju just just to clarify, I was I was having sex with Lucy, mm -hmm. and then uh, it was it was the stage was uh, the setting was mm -hmm. at a disco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, we were doing uh, area, Saturday a disco night. ball uh -huh. got loose and it fell and it hit her in the head. Yeah. And it killed her. Oh, uh, but I was right. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, we're. It, uh, I just, I just want to make sure. Uh, like, let's just try not to use the K word. Okay. Well, like, it, 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 it addled her severely, but I just kept going. That's a good one. Addled. But, I like it. <laughs> kind of like <laughs> <laughs> Kind of like when cameras get addled. Um, uh, yeah, all right. So just to clarify, as we're doing the scene, uh, people not in the scene, you guys mm -hmm. have to choose a resolution. Oh. Uh, for me, because I established either a good resolution or a bad resolution. Okay. Um, how do we? You just pick a that? dice and you give it to me. Here you go. Perfect. That's good resolution. And this That's one. Good resolution. For uh, you. Well, he'll get one when he establishes a scene. Forget yeah, he that. He doesn't get one. <laughs> uh, so that'll be it. There you go. Cool. Oh, so, you already got Yeah. Just so one? Just okay. one. You guys have to, like, decide amongst sure. yourselves. That sounds good. All right. Sounds good. Cool. Um, great. So that's how we're going to go ahead and end the scene, because you guys gave me a dice, and I feel like it's reached some sort of resolution. Uh, with that said, um, so now someone else needs to establish a scene. Uh, with another character. All right. Uh, so it's ended on like a good resolution. Do we like end the scene in a good direction for you? Yeah. Or yeah. So I got my contract signed, which is what I wanted, um, and we talked about the disco ball incident. Mm -hmm. So that's that's it. That's a good a good start for our story that we're building today. Okay. Um, so whoever wants to go next doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll go next. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a scene with uh, Kevin. Mm -hmm. To rem remind everybody we have a rivalry. Uh, so we're contenders for the same heart. Um, and somehow you guys are connected pretty good idea. with the yeah. rest of us. And yeah. yeah perfect. Um, so I, I introduce my character? Yeah. Okay. My name is... Um, we'll, call my, we'll call me... Uh, Let's go with Luke. Luke. Uh, Geraldo. <laughs> I'm Luke like Geraldo. Um, and is that it? I just come up with the name. That's it. Okay. All right, Kevin. Cool. Um, my uh, my name is Tom, uh, Scavolta. <laughs> uh, and I am just like a like a disco fiend. 
Um, yep. Okay. He's a disco fiend. Just a fiend. Uh, <clears throat> hey, Tommy! <laughs> it's good to see you. It's been a while. Yeah, it has. It's been, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks. It's been a couple weeks. That's right. It has been. Uh, yeah. How's yeah. the wife? Uh, you know, uh, she's a wife. She's, uh, she does, she does the things that a wife does, uh, but, you know, uh, to be honest with you, uh, I'm just, I'm getting a little bit bored. A little bit bored here, you know, in this town. I feel like it's holding me back. I can't, uh, I don't want to go too much in details because, uh, well, you know, I don't. I'm a, I'm a man's man, and I don't like to, you know, wear my heart on my sleeve. Of course, of course. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta get down to the city. That's where everything's happening. You know, I'm out every night, just twirling around and dancing, whatever disco dancing. I know. I, I saw, I saw you the other night. If you want, if you want my honest opinion, I, or my honest, just my honesty. It's not an opinion. It's, uh, I, I followed you into the city. And I, uh, I saw that you was dancing with, uh, with, uh, with Esteban. Yeah, uh, Esteban, yeah, we, uh, we may have gotten together, done, uh, some moves, some dance moves, a couple lines, uh, a coke, or whatever. You should have, you should have come say hi. I just, I really wanted to, I was... It looked like the most fun ever, but you know, I'm just I'm just a guy from the Bronx. I don't I'm not a I'm not a city guy, I'm not a Manhattan type of dude. Uh, but uh that Esteban boy he's uh he's, he's quite a fella. He's really something. I yeah. mean he's got those muscles and uh you know that chilled jaw uh, chiseled jawline. You could uh open a beer on that jawline. Boy, you you are one lucky fella. <laughs> You are one lucky fella. Well, uh, you know, th things ain't so good with me and Esteban, you know. Uh, he sort of sort of gave me gonorrhea. Oh. Well, you I'm, know. If I'm sharing that with you because, you know, we're pretty close. I mean, if, it, if I was in your shoes, I'd take more than gonorrhea to be with Esteban. <laughs> I mean, I can only, I could only hope to be lucky enough to contract Esteban's gonorrhea. <laughs> Well, I mean, hey, I'm, I'm sure he's open to it, you know? <laughs> Maybe give him a call, let he him know. Thinks because uh, this is, I'll, I'm going to continue with this honesty streak that I'm on. Sure, yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to change things up in my life. And uh, to be honest with you, I, uh, I really, yeah, I'm really jealous of your life, Tommy. I look and, you know, we, we grew up in the same neighborhood. But you took different, uh, you know, you took a different path than me, and uh, I feel a little bit stuck, and uh, I'm, uh, I feel like a little bit jealous, like just pretty angry and jealous, and you know, borderline violent <laughs> towards <laughs> you, because uh, I want what you have, what you have, so <laughs> goddamn much. Uh, yes, yeah. it makes me angry. Y you know, it, it's a little. It's a little much, Luke, with Sorry. the uh, with the saying that you've been stalking me. Now you're saying you're having some violent ideation. Uh, it's, you know, this is, it's it's a dark time in my life. Seems like you're you're under a lot of stress. I think am I supposed to roll this dice at no, some you don't point? Have to roll it. <laughs> I just, just get a, it. Just a marker for good or bad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, anyway, I gotta go. So I'm heading to a party. Oh, okay. Well, I'll see you later. Yeah, maybe. No, I will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Perfect. And then I forgot, in round w in Act 1, which is this is, this is like the first two cycles, yeah. uh, the dice you get, you actually give away to someone else, and they keep that. Uh, so I'm going to give your my good dice that I got, I'm going to just give that to you. So how do you know this is good? Because it's white. <laughs> it's very racial. So uh, the white dice are good, okay, I see. and our colored dice today are bad. So this is supposed are to bad. and bad. Yeah. When you give me a colored dice, that means you and your scene bad. Right, so the narrative is supposed to... Uh, take a direction that ends poorly for you. Okay, I see. So now I have two dice. Well, the, you actually have to give your dice away to someone. Okay. And they will just use it at the end of 
uh, two scene rounds. Uh, I'll explain it later. Just okay. give it to someone. It doesn't matter. Perfect. Awesome. All right. Uh, since we're going this way, Kevin, do you want to establish a scene with somebody? Sure. Yeah. Uh, so I'm on my way to meet with Esteban. 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 Uh, we're getting... You, tell, you said that you were going to a party. Yeah. So we're at a party. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> with Esteban. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> well, you I know, came to confront you, obviously. Well, r r well, I, I, yeah, like we're at a party and it's like, oh, ooh, like we had a one night stand. We are again facing each other. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, I thought I might find you here. Yeah, you know, I just. I'm a, I'm a party animal. All right. Uh, I'm a party animal, you know, whatever it takes. I like to stay up late. I like to have some schnapps. I like to have a mixed drink. I like to have a joint. I like to have some coke. I like to have some blow. I like to have some sex. You're so smooth. Thank you. Listen, I, uh, I just came to say that what happened the other night, it can't happen again. It's a one-time thing. I feel, listen, I feel bad. I do. Well, we, ha we had a really lovely night, you know? And we don't need to let the fact that I gave you gonorrhea get in the middle of something well, you, that you was beautiful. You know, it's a little hard to forget for me. Uh, it's been a lot of burning. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... Well, I'll, I'll help you with it. You know, I got, I got... I got ointments. Uh, I don't know what ointments they use, but I got Dawn liquid soap. <laughs> you're just you're doing you're doing it again. You're just you're trying to get me get me back, and I just hey, li it's not gonna happen. It, listen, it here can't you, happen. Here are your options. You know, like like you move on, but then you spread the gonorrhea to somebody else. Like you don't want to do that. You can just stay with me. Just, you know, just mix our gonorrhea together and create some sort of super gonorrhea. <laughs> That doesn't well, sound no, appealing we can, to me. We can use ointments. We could use, you want us to use Dawn. We could use Joy. We could use Gain. <laughs> use Arm and Hammer. <laughs> I'm not Listen, putting I baking know, soda I, 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 on my... I'm not, hey, I'm not a medical student, okay? I'm a Rastafari. <laughs> Listen, Have I just... I wish I could trust you. I wish I could trust you, but I know, I know what you do. I know that you... You know? No hands? I know you don't like using hands. Uh, and just with, you know, with your job, I just don't feel safe. You know, everyone's got to pay the bills. I don't blame you for what you do, but, uh, you know, I'm, you know, I'm proud of what I do. All right. I've seen your stuff. You're good Tra at it. Th thank you. Th I appreciate that. Like, you know how few people can like fuck on camera and like make it look good. Make people want to say like, "Man, I wish I could do it like that." Guy. Not a lot of people. Not a lot of people. I mean something to people. I don't need to feel bad. This the rest of this culture needs to get on board. You know, I'm with you on that. But uh, I just came to say, you know, what we had it was what we had. <laughs> That's it. And. Uh, you know, I wish you luck in your future ventures. I really do. Is this the last time I'm going to see you? Is that I what mean, you're planning on it being? Unless you start stalking me. I don't know. <laughs> Apparently that happens. Well, I just, I got, I got a final question to ask you before. Sure, go ahead. Before we part ways then. What's your name? God damn you. <laughs> see. <laughs> Yay. Woo. Good job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, Kevin, you give your good dice to someone. Okay. Perfect. Aww. Thank you. That's what we are. All right, Tito. Okay. Um, so I can pick anybody to have a mm -hmm. scene with. Uh, you can even do a monologue. Mm -hmm. Um, can we do like a very quick recap? Like, yeah. And it was like Steven Spielberg. Uh, so, yeah, what's my name? Uh, Sleazy Steve Spielberg. Sleazy Steve Spielberg yes. is like a cousin yeah. of Steve, Steve Spielberg, Spielberg. Right. Right. Uh, who makes adult films, Sleazy Steve. which Esteban has starred in mm -hmm. at least one. Yeah. Uh, during the filming of the most recent one, it sounds like 
there was what is it a skew or a what happened to the person? They were adult her. A disco ball adult. fell on, right, fell on the woman I was uh, performing with. <laughs> right by a disco ball. Mm -hmm. Um, and then what was your character's name? My name is L Luke. Luke. Right. Geraldo. Geraldo. <laughs> right. And then Luke uh, is attracted to Estevan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very much so. Very much so. Uh, yeah. And this did happen. And this is. Um, uh, Tom. Tom. What's your last name? Uh, Scavolta. Tom Scavolta. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shoot. And, uh, uh, okay, like, I guess I could do it. Just a man about town, Tom. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's I just everywhere. Do a scene with Jason because we haven't done a scene yet. All right. Uh, what's it? What's the setting like? Is it this the very same want... party? Did you follow? Yeah, I think Tom so. To this party, I did because I'm a stalker. <laughs> yeah. And, like, you want? It's well okay. established. <laughs> Esteban. <gasps> Who? <gasps> oh. Oh. I've seen you around before. I'm sure you have. I've been, I've been following yeah. you around a lot lately. Hi, I'm, boy, you, this is—it's finally you're so, happening. You're so, you're so nervous. Hi. It, uh, it's finally happening. Hello, hello, I'm Esteban. I... <laughs> don't. It's okay. You don't need to be nervous. I'm so nervous. Here, you have you no like idea. A, would you like a line? I've never done this before. So it's okay, your first time, huh? It's all right. Go ahead, put your nose to the grindstone, as they say. Okay, so I just I lick it up, or uh... and <laughs> oh, you, uh, what? <laughs> what do I? What this? Yeah, I need you to teach me, it's because look, I'm just a boy from the Bronx, and I've, you know, spent my days playing baseball, and uh, you know. <laughs> Just eating pepperoni and sausage pizza. Let my cheeks get fatter and fatter. And now I'm over <laughs> 250 pounds. Mm. So I look at all you young, svelte men. And, uh. What's your name, boy? Tom Horaldo. <laughs> Tom. 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 All right, well. Some, my Listen, my I, boys I call like me Tommy. Listen, I'll be straight up honest like with you. Like the gun. I'll be straight up honest with you, Tom. I like a little bit of cushion. Now, 250 pounds is quite a bit. If you want to trim that down a bit, this is the answer. I'll do anything do a line for of you. This, it'll make you thin. Okay, let me try it out. There you go. <laughs> mm. oh, wow, is it supposed to hurt that much? Yeah, <laughs> it is. Oh. First time, it's like popping like a nose cherry. Oh, wow. I've never felt this good in my life. Holy crap. <laughs> Esteban. <gasps> I feel I just need to be real honest with you. Go for I've it. I've seen all your movies. Oh. I've seen Jack Hammer, Sally. <laughs> I've seen. That was a good one. Uh, kick him in the <laughs> groin. I've seen. <laughs> that was Heaven the, that, that, that my was avant garde one. <laughs> I've seen. <laughs> Too much hair, <laughs> mm. and I've seen. Look into my glass eye. My glass <laughs> eye. I'm sorry. This stuff is really getting to me. Whoa! That's hey, a deep hey, cut. Hey, it's a deep cut. Hey, what, what do you say? Hey, what do you say? You take me back to your place and give me some gonorrhea. I know things. Oh, sorry. You get me. You get me. I want to get you. <laughs> er, gonorrhea. <laughs> All right. Saunter, 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 saunter. saunter, saunter. <laughs> awesome. So, so now I give... You have to give the dice you just got, which I think is the white one, to someone else. I think everyone has one right now except for Kevin. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Don't read into it. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care for you. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it. Awesome. So, um... Yeah, we just continue to try and get our needs met through various scenes, uh, through one more round, and then we're going to do what's called the tilt, which is where we'll roll the dice that we've accumulated because people would give them to us, mm -hmm. uh, and the people that roll highest get I to see. choose the tilt element. Um, and there's a couple of things like mayhem, tragedy, innocence. They're, they're thematic things 
is okay. going to happen okay. uh, for the second act of our story Great. that we've established. Uh, so I would like a phone call. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> that tripod is awful. It's really hot oh. today, and the tripods keep melting. <laughs> It's just, just a stupid camera. It's got a bum knee. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if you just splay it out really flat. It might be too low, it's too though. Short. This oh. is like, um, uh, I feel Metal like Gear, Wes isn't doing uh, it. He can just hold it. From 4, what was it called? Not Metal Gear Rex. No, Metal Gear Ray. The cow Metal Gears with the weird legs. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's not that we don't care. We just don't know. I don't care. <laughs> But you do know. I do know. But you don't care. I've played all the Metal Gears, and I just don't care. Every single one. But every time I'm playing it, I'm just like, I don't care. Like, I'm going to see this story and, like, look away the whole time. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but, yes, I've played them all. So, um, All right, okay, so, so uh, I would like to establish a scene with Luke. Uh, it's going to be a phone call. Okay. Um... Yeah, that's where we're going. That's where we're going. Okay. All right. Ring, ring. <laughs> uh, these are going to be landlines. I'm calling for a payphone. Okay. Uh, <laughs> to your home, I guess. That's the only way to contact people in Hello? 1978. Hey, Luke, Bubba, this is uh, Steven. Remember me? Oh, I remember you. You shot me that audition tape a little while ago. <laughs> you wanted me to show it to Esteban? I never heard back. Yeah, I've been sitting on it for a while. Listen, I understand you own some kind of shipping yard or something. Or a compactor. Or a, uh, you're some kind of trash man or something. Uh, y yes. <laughs> yes, all of the above. I, I, I own a shipping yard. You own a shipping yard. It's oh, a very yeah. small shipping yard. Okay, And great. it's in the Bronx, so it's not close to very uh, any <laughs> rivers. <laughs> Or, uh, Business must be rough, then. It's, uh, don't get me started on it. Well, listen, right. I, uh, I understand you're married, is that right? Lovely lady? Uh, listen, I, did I, 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 yes, did I get, uh, did I get the part? Am I gonna... <laughs> well, you know, I got a little, I got a little, I got a little issue. An interview? Something yeah. I need to get rid of. And, uh, I think you might be able to help me with this. Uh, uh, so you're telling me, like... I'm just very confused. Do I, uh, do I gotta, well, if I, got, I gotta, I like, got put a little, some, uh, how do you say, I, I uh, like, I think that the overweight pornography is in a burgeoning field, <laughs> and, uh, I'm just, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm ready and I'm willing, and, uh, I had a, I had a one heck of a night last night, and I feel like, uh, I met a man and he taught me, he taught me moves, some moves that I thought I would never I would never be able to do, but now I feel very, very competent in, the, in my sexuality. Oh, that's so I'm ready to express myself. So that's whatever, you, whatever, whatever you need. Oh, all right. Well, uh, I guess uh, I was going to send the video to your wife if you didn't agree to uh, comply with me. But what, since you're willing to help me out anyway. Uh, wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, this is the type of phone call we're having. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you were asking me about my wife. Yeah, well, that's that's kind of oh, where I was God. going. Yeah, it's really come to a head, hasn't it, Luke? <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking to myself here. <laughs> it's okay, we all do it. I don't know. Uh, uh, it's just uh, listen. Just God meet damn it! Me. I did just so many, so many mixed emotions. <laughs> all right, all right. Look, I've got kids. I'd want to leave my wife, but not in this way. What do you? Whatever you need, okay? You know the docks and queens, the real rough one. Oh, yeah, the rough dock in Queens. Yeah. The rough docks. <laughs> Lots of prostitutes and graffiti. Yes, and of course. I've been there many times just watching people. <laughs> yeah, me too. Anyway, I'll meet you there. I got a little problem. Uh, do you have a pickup truck? or? Uh, I've got 15 pickup trucks. Perfect. Bring, bring it. I just need one. <laughs> uh, go ahead and bring one pickup truck for me. All right. Uh, and we'll do a little exchange. Uh, you take care of my problem. I'll take care of yours. Look Sounds at good? me. Look at me, Steve's. Sleazy Steve. <laughs> That's how I like to be called. I like your movies, but I don't want you to... I just... I don't want my kids to know. No, I understand. I understand. Uh, they're dads. I, I got it. Okay. Doing p yeah, pornography. Doing I'm going to hang up. Oh, Five, the last of my four. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to give my die to Jason. All right. And then mm -hmm. I have to give my die? Nope. nope. You don't have to do uh, anything. This is my turn. It's your turn. Uh, I want to... 
Oh boy, I've had scenes with everybody now. Mm -hmm. um, let's see here. Where can I take this story? Um, it doesn't have to be necessarily a scene with anyone at the table either. If you want to have a scene with uh, a non-player character, oh, okay. or even just a monologue, you can do that. So if you okay. want someone to take on the role of, let's say, your wife, or... Uh, or, you, or you could do, like, a time jump and, go, and go, move forward with what you guys just did. Oh, yeah, yeah, or you could do that. Um, Fast forward. I'm going to do another scene with... Um, let's do another scene with Kevin here. Okay. I think that's that'll be fine. Perfect. We'll make that work. <laughs> okay. And where are we? We are... Uh, I asked you to meet me at uh, a park. Uh, we'll, we'll say we're at... Um, no, let's, let's do the Washington Bridge, uh, which is close to the Bronx. And, uh, we're in the middle of the Washington Bridge, and I asked you to meet me there. Alright? Cool. Okay. Hey, Tommy! Tommy! Luke. Good to see you so soon again. Ah, uh, thanks for coming out and meeting me here. It's just, this is the only place where I feel like I could get some privacy. In the, on the middle of a bridge, <laughs> with cars, the one of the busiest bridges in the country. Hey, you know whatever, whatever you gotta do, that's fine. Uh, look, I need your help. I think I've I found myself in a little bit of a pickle, uh, and well, not the good type of sweet pickles that we eat here in New York. <laughs> not those disgusting dill pickles that everybody else eats in the country. Y you're spiraling out of control here. Sorry, I'm Luke, losing it. Uh, what, what's going on? What what kind of uh, thing are you in? What's well, first, I got gonorrhea. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure you knows how. I did tell you that that was a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I you can try some ointments. I, they haven't been doing much for me, but... Uh, what type of ointments do you recommend? There's some almond hammer. There's, uh, <laughs> there's a Pond's cold cream. Kind of feels good when you put it on. Uh, All right. You could just spray it with some Lysol. I don't know. I don't have insurance. All right. I'll try those things. <laughs> but yeah, it's really that's that's just the base. That's just the beginning of my problem. <laughs> oh man, worse I, than that. Well, I've fallen in love. That's number two. <laughs> With I'm sure you know too, right? Yeah, Esteban. Yeah, I saw you two hitting it off at the party last night. That was uh, you know, I'm not gonna lie, it, it stung a little bit, and that wasn't just the gonorrhea. It was <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, I know that we've got this. I'm 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 waking. It's only been. <laughs> <laughs> eight hours <laughs> and I'm a brand new man <laughs> I feel like I've successfully taken over your life I'm sleeping with your man I'm doing coke <laughs> done like over eight thousand dollars in coke in eight hours so that's number three <laughs> is the is the drug addiction the drug addiction yeah that'll get you and uh, number four is, is that's I'm now, I'm being blackmailed by Sleazy, Sleazy Steve Spielberg. Sleazy and Steve? He's threatening to tell my family d deep and dirty secrets about me. And uh, I thought I wanted to get out, but now that uh, I'm looking at it dead in the eye, I'm looking at my future, and uh, I watched my, my little boy, little Luke, <laughs> little Lukey, <laughs> Loogie. <laughs> Little Loogie? <laughs> I, uh, uh, I haven't I, seen I, him since the christening. How's he doing? Uh, it's much better. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> <That> was, <laughs> it's a bad day for him. <laughs> it's a bad day. <laughs> Listen, you, you, uh, you don't want to mess around with Sleazy Steve. I, so, be, uh, I need your advice. How do, I, how do I get out of this pickle? You, you just you got to do what he says. This is what you got to do. And then you got to... He, he doesn't mess around. You know? If he says he's going to tell your family some stuff, that means he's prepared to do it, if not worse. I was hoping that you would have a better answer nope. than just <laughs> do what he says. But I, you're the man, you know, you're the guys that has always been, you know, growing up, you were the one that always knew which way was north and which way was south and, you know, the names of capitals and streets yeah, well, and stuff. I was, so I got to trust a boy scout. you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean... There is, an, there is another way. And, uh, there's another way? There's another way. What's the what other way? As they say. As they say? When you play the Game of Thrones, 
You win or you die. You saying I should kill myself? You should. Well, no, I was I was gonna suggest you kill him, but I guess <laughs> him. but I guess that could work. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's this new self-esteem thing is. <laughs> I'm still getting used to it. Uh, look, I I just want to. I, I want to thank you for this advice, and I want to I want you to use to know that there's a part of me that hears you. But there's also a part of me that doesn't trust you because I think that you might still harbor feelings for Esteban and you might be trying to hurt me. You might be onto something there and I might be giving you purposefully bad advice because you might I kind of be. want you to die so I can I be with Esteban. I'm trying to play up this rivalry that or, is in our relationship. Or I pity you and I'm trying to help. Either way... Uh, you are good at this Game of Thrones, game of Thrones. business. Which is a term I've never heard before <laughs> because it's 1978. Well, it's just, it's like a, it's a spec script I'm working on. So, <laughs> it's, <laughs> I don't, it's anyway. Uh, <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to leave and I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to follow your advice because I'm going to choose to trust you. Because That's you're uh, the smartest man I've ever known. I appreciate that. All right. Okay. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great. All right. So you just gotta give your dice away. And One dice. Uh, yeah. Cares. So I gave you the bad dice. So I gotta give this away. You just gotta give that to someone. Yep. So the when we do get to the tilt, people are gonna roll all of their that work. All of their white dice versus their colored dice. Okay. Um, so, and the higher number you get, uh, the more likely you are to contribute to the tilt. So this is actually uh, this is good strategic move for your character to give me this because it gives me a chance of rolling like a zero because I'm going to subtract the higher number from the lower Oh, number. I'm trying to actually win something here. Well, you, you just, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Sure. Yeah, I won. <laughs> it's not about, it's not about Whenever I fun. do improv, I'm always fun. about winning. <laughs> yeah. Do they win this scene? Yeah. Perfect. Uh, all right, Kevin. What would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to go visit uh, Sleazy Steve. All right. Sleazy nice. Steve welcomes your visit. Okay. Mr. Sleazy Steve. Hold on, I'm finishing editing up this reel. Okay, well, I'm sorry. In, Didn't mean to interrupt. Out, in, out, in, out, and cut. Perfect. I like to see five in outs, and then cut, and then I just play the footage over and over again until I make sure I'm cutting at the exact right moment. That, that's why you're the best. Everybody says. I just, it's like it's all day and night with me. You know, once I got a good good picture going, this new Esteban, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. So when are you gonna come work for me while we're at it? Uh, you know, uh, I've been you know, thinking Tommy, about it. You have been you for a long time, you know, following your career, seeing where you're going. I see you at all the hot spots. You're hanging out with all my crew anyway. Well, that, that's not really what I came here to talk to you about. That's what I came here to talk about, though. Well, you were already here. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we, can, we can talk about that later. Uh, I just thought I, I'd uh, do you a favor, tip you off not to, really. uh... I hear you've been uh, doing some business with uh, sort of a, a frenemy of mine. A frenemy? A frenemy. You may know him, Luke. Luke! I love that kid. Luke Geraldo, yeah. Luke Geraldo, yeah. I Listen. got an audition tape right over here. You want to see it? I really don't. No, hold on. I'll cue it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is Luke Geraldo's audition tape. Come Take to one. Bed. <laughs> Uh, rub, <laughs> the, rub the baloney on me, babe. Uh, rub the baloney it, on me. There you go, sweetie. <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty bad, right? Pour <laughs> some milk and cookies I, on me. Oh, and some pizza pie. Oh, this is the journal. <laughs> All right, I think please, we're gonna cut please this. turn that off. I know <laughs> it's pretty bad. I've seen some bad porn in my time. I mean, I've been in some bad porn in my time, but this this is by far the worst thing I have ever seen in that my life. That made me lose my lunch. Right, it's it's, it's awful. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I'm glad I showed it to you though. I feel like I need to share the trauma with someone. Well, it'll never leave me <laughs> that trauma. Just wanted you to know, he uh, he may be planning to. To pull one over you. What? The wool. Nah, you know, the expe I'm not good with expressions. Nah, he's a big, big teddy bear. He'll be fine. I just had a conversation with him. And, uh, I don't know. Seems like he's, uh, just, you know, whatever you want to do with this information, it's up time. to you. I this just isn't good. This isn't good. Listen, 
I don't have a lot of friends. I don't know if that surprises you. Again, man of my business. Surrounded by wealth and power. You seem very approachable I know, to right? me. <laughs> I don't have a lot of friends. I don't have a lot of people I can count on, but you came to me today, and I could really use your help with this. I'm meeting Luke later on tonight at that rundown old dock in Queens. And, you know, maybe if you, if you could go with me, it's a backup. You know, just in case things don't go the way they're supposed to. I mean, uh, for, for some coke, I'd be willing to... Coke, yes, that's what I have. Yes, yeah, perfect. that's what yes, you I pay. Have, no, I got all your... drawers of coke. Okay, yeah. Esteban was in here the other day. He was asked for marijuana. What do you think I am? What? I know. <laughs> like a... Like a Puerto Rican Puerto or, Rican or, or, or yeah. something? Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, right. but I, yeah, I will, I will accompany you to the dock in exchange for a, a pouch of coke. All right, it's a deal. Let's make it happen. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Oh, we ever did it? Do we ever do a dice? Who does it? Uh, Anybody? Uh, uh, yeah, I initiate it. So, it's oh, it's a bad dice. A bad dice. Do you not have any? He has a bad dice. Oh, he has a bad dice. You have too many good dice. Hey, perfect. <laughs> all right. So Tito gets established the last scene of the round, and then we'll all roll for the tilt of the narrative. So what's going to change? Um. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I feel like. Uh, I feel like there's a, a, like two thoughts. One, I should just go to the docks trying to buy drugs. <laughs> that way, we're all headed to the docks. <laughs> um, or we, I should figure out a way to kind of like unpack like what exactly happened with this disco ball and this and this, this this thing. Sure. Um, you have until uh, like three thirty. So yeah, we're doing great. We're doing good. Uh, okay. Uh, might just do both. Okay. Um, I guess it would, if I went to the docks, it'd be like a scene with like a totally new person. Yeah, if you want to, uh, your drug dealer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, who, wants be, who wants to be a drug dealer? Marijuana dealer. The marijuana yeah. dealer. Oh, marijuana. You do marijuana. <laughs> marijuana. Marijuana. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Either you want to be a drug dealer? Sure, I'll be. I'll, I'll be a drug dealer. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. I, I'm just going to start with this, because this can only end bad for me. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, okay, so setting is uh, the docks. Uh, it's uh, night, you know, or at the very least, dusk. Um, uh, I'm a drug dealer. Uh, I, just want, I just want some weed. Uh, honestly, like, I've known you for a bit, so I'm probably going to, like, you know. I consider us friends. I can be open with you. And remember, he said he's a Rastafarian. <laughs> Just saying. Oh. Wait, who's a Rastafarian? Oh, Esteban a Rastafarian. said he's Rastafarian. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing you could say to establish it's, the character. It's good to see you. Uh, it's a weird <laughs> spot to meet. Uh, <laughs> some shady business going on. Well, I just had a, it. It seemed like a good place to meet at the time, uh, far away from the roads and everything. Listen, I just—I haven't seen you in about a month, and I'm just, I'm all out of weed. You know, I go to parties. There's cocaine. There's uh, poppers. There's quaaludes, but there's no. There's weed. never any weed. There's no weed. It's a problem. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is. People just don't Hubert. appreciate the the weed. <laughs> They, they don't, Hubert. <laughs> you know, usually I, I do my dealings in a very private place, uh, the Washington Bridge. <laughs> no one no one ever knows what's happening there. Oh, why, why didn't we... You <laughs> Perhaps we should have met there, but we're here now. Oh, we're here, we're here now. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, if you, if you can... If you have any weed, that'd be great. I am like have some and we can roll it up. We could have a joint. Sure. Let's share some, <laughs> share some weed. Man. <laughs> Oh, good. Hubert, I have some stuff I want to unload. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Uh, you know, I've been, I've been doing this, uh, this porn business for a while. Mm. And something, something happened the last uh, film that I did. It was, uh, of course, you know, disc is all the rage. It's, it's, it's so hot right now, I don't think it's ever going to come down. No, it will this last forever. Be, it's going to last forever. Into the next century, probably. Yeah. Yep. Sparkly bell bottoms. I have several pairs. <laughs> Anyways, the point is, we were doing a disco shoot, a disco hall, and uh, 
I was uh, having. So, excuse me. I'm <laughs> getting a cough from the weed dealer. <laughs> uh, they they got back too late, so I went with you, Hubert. Good. <laughs> um. Anyways, we were just we were just we were uh, performing, uh, fucking. Yes. I don't know if you you got what I said. Yeah. No, I oh, I picked good. up on that. Yeah. Right. Uh-huh. And just uh, I guess. Oh, that's the bomb was just rocking that house a little too hard. And that disco ball above us loosened and fell. And it hit Lucy right in the head. And, uh, you know, I was, I, was re- I was real close. I was real close. Like, I'm not, Esmond's not one for blue balls. So <laughs> I just kept going. I just kept going. And it, With it, the disco ball, on, did it land on her head? Yeah, like, a, <laughs> like an astronaut <laughs> helmet. <laughs> Like an astronaut <laughs> helmet. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of a funny image. It's a, well, it's a tragedy. Well, well it, it, it's 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 funny until you realize there's a lot of blood mm. as well. Um, but oh, well, that's well, not one for blue balls. So I I kept going, and that mm-hmm. turned the porn the, the porno into uh, a necrophilic snuff film. A snuff film. Yeah, a snuff film. And so that's that's hopefully someday those films will be legal, uh, but they're not legal now. <laughs> Maybe someday. So it's just it's just something I'm struggling with. Like like, ha- is this gonna ruin old Esteban? Is it? Is it not. I always, I just needed a I just needed some weed to take the edge off. Hey, that's uh, that's a big problem, man. It it, it uh, is. I don't know what I would what I would do in your shoes other than uh, I don't know who who has the tape of this. Uh, my boss. Hmm. You you want you want to? I have a I have a can of Pringles. Uh, uh, I'm killing Hubert. I'm dead. <laughs> this is uh, Esteban. It's me. It's Luke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm breaking into your seed. You cheating on me. Who's oh, this man. asshole? Luke, <laughs> I was setting this up so we could do this next scene, but okay, he will do it now. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Luke, you're after the tilt. <laughs> I wasn't sure about that. <laughs> well, anyway, I killed him. I was just trying. I was just getting some weed. You bastard! Why wouldn't I? I haven't done anything. No, you're cheating on me with this guy, <laughs> this Rastafarian son of a bitch. Oh,